Today, we're going to expertise William, who I think is astonishingly good for a huge brawl for the Ark of Osiris, and that's because he's giving rage and defense to all nearby troops. But do William's buffs actually stack with other commanders like a Joan of Arc? In this video, we're going to figure that out, and man, if they do stack up, we're going to pair up William with YSG in Canyon and see just how insane and nutty our Canyon team becomes. So stick around for us to bust some myths with William and expertise him. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiss Cool Gaming. Today, we're expertising William, which is something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. If you like Rise of Kingdoms guides that help you get value and smash your enemies, consider smashing that subscribe button for daily Rise of Kingdoms videos. I'm a sponsored content creator, and ever since this commander was released, I have been eyeing that expertise skill, looking forward toward getting it, which makes swarming things absolutely insane. You do huge amounts of damage to the target that you're swarming. After getting 680 legendary commander sculptures back from Chandragupta getting reset, yeah, we're feeling really good about different things that we can go and invest in. William is really at the top of my list, so let's power him up now, I have, in my previous videos, by the way, advocated that he is like a free-to-play, leveled-up version of a Joan of Arc, like strictly better than Joan of Arc. And okay, you know, I know Joan of Arc does some different stuff, but let's just see exactly how good this commander is. We've now maxed out that third skill, which is related to swarming. We're now going to max out the buffing-related skill. To do this operation, by the way, is costing me about 300 sculptures based on how many I had already applied to William. We confirm this upgrade. We still have 2,125 sculptures as we go in now. And we're going to go expertise this wheel commander. Who, gosh, man, he is so strong. So here we go. We've unlocked the last skill, and there is the expertise, baby. Expertise obtained Judgment Day. While on the map, all cavalry units' attack is increased by 30%, so an extra 10% boost. The normal attacks have a 10% chance to now do 1,000 damage factor, and if the target is surrounded for each surrounding march, they do an extra 100 damage factor on this ability. It's an astonishing amount of damage when you combine that with the active skill of William. But I need to figure out, we need to figure out, whether or not William's active skill actually stacks with the Joan of Arc. I feel like this is the thing I would have tested in the past, but I couldn't find anything about that in my old videos. So, okay, here we go. We're going to take the Joan of Arc for a spin with William and figure out, do these buffs stack up? That sinking feeling when you realize your Joan of Arc was out gathering. Oh, I may or may not edit this into the video. Okay, we finally made it to our destination here. Let's get these barbs to cuddle up, and then we'll watch the active skills fire off for this test, and we'll see exactly how this works. Are we going to get the active skills to stack or not? Now, if they stack, there's actually a couple things we need to test. First of all, I'm using cavalry right now, so if these skills stack up, there is a defense bonus that both Joan of Arc gives and William gives that we're hoping will stack up. Also, seriously, this barb, or is this barb... He just keeps walking the other way. Come on, man. Be a part of this test. I'm trying to make you famous right now, buddy. Can't just accept the fame. Accept the glory of being a part of this. Oh, God, he's moving again. Really? Really? Wait, really? Wait. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, no, we're going to lose him. We're good. We got this. We got this. I know you all wanted to watch this. Here we go. Okay. We finally done it. William's area of effect is so small. We finally lined up the test. Here we go. There's Joan of Arc. Does the defense buff stack from the Joan of Arc and the William? And does the rage gen stack from the two? I don't know. We did hit both of them there, which was pretty cool. We are hitting... Actually, let's... I guess they did make... Nope. Nope. Yeah, I thought the radius was bigger and I was hitting both the barbs. I'm, I'm not. Okay. So, but we, we're going to get what we need here to look in the report and figure out Defense stacks, rage stacks, yes or no. And I can't actually validate, like, how much rage are we getting here. 
I can only see what's in the report, and if they're both listed, that's a good thing. We've shown that one debuff will override another debuff onto a target. So I don't know if that's how this is going to work. Usually buffs kind of stack up. Honestly, I, I just, I don't know. Let's go uh, get a look at the report, shall we? Okay, here we are in the report. And here is the first activation of Joan of Arc. You gain the endurance effect, uh, the defense effect, archer effect, infantry effect. Okay, great. So on the next turn, we've got the cavalry effect in play, the infantry effect in play, the rage is there, and also the archer attack is there. Great. On the next turn, we should have William's active skill fire off. And then on the next turn, in fact, there's Hidden Bloodline right over here. Now on the next turn, they either stack or they don't. So let's find out. We see here that Rage was restored by William Scourge of the North. And Rage was restored due to Joan Inspiration. Ooh, hoo, hoo. okay. So that looks like, doesn't that look like I got 100 Rage? That looks like I got 100 Rage. It also says total defense increased by 20%, Scourge of the North, and Cavalry Formation Effect. Cavalry defense increased by 30% due to the Cavalry Formation Effect. I think they may stack. Well, since these buffs stack up, I'm going to do something that I think that most people shouldn't do. I'm going to take William, and I'm going to level him up all the way up to 60. And the reason I don't think you should probably do that is I think he generally makes a better secondary commander. The reason I say that is that he doesn't have a rage engine. You want him to fire off his active skill like as much as you possibly can. However, I think this combination in Canyon might be really nutty in the back lane to use William and YSG. And look, there's a lot that works really well with that combination. First of all, YSG is boosting skill damage by 50%. Guess who does a ton of skill damage? That is William on his first skill and on his third skill. However, he's also going to help restore rage, which is something that William really needed. You're losing out on a little bit of archer attack, but ugh, gosh, if we look at what William does, William is going to be giving us 10% damage boost. He's going to be giving us a cool 50% attack for cavalry, and we are going to use William Primary, so it's going to be all cavalry. We're going to be surrounding the target at least once, so we'll get, you know, 1,100 damage factor from this proc, which at the start of the fight could be pretty meaningful. His area of effect damage is going to hit multiple targets, and then I'm buffing my whole team. I'm buffing the whole team with extra rage and extra defense. I, I don't know <laughs> if it's good enough or not, but now we're going to find out. Now we're going to find out. We're going to level up and star up William. Let's just snap my fingers so you don't have to see all the messy details here, and then he'll be maxed. Okay, our William is now totally maxed out, and here is the build that we'll be using. This is kind of a weird one. It doesn't have that many trees that are amazing for me to go and drop a bunch of talents into. And that's the weird thing about William as a primary. Again, why I was advising like, hey, I don't think most people should do this. The cavalry tree, it's great. The attack tree, there's really very limited talents that are applicable. And then the versatility tree is just straight garbage. So there's not a lot that we can work with for this commander in terms of variety of builds. So here's the build that we've put onto our William. <laughs> Let's go see if our mad science pays off here and try to beat some teams that we can't beat. These are teams that I've not been able to beat before, and maybe with William in the Canyon lineup, we get it done? I don't know. Let's give this a shot. We're going to go hit challenge. And, dude, Sterling's team is insane. This team is crazy. He's got Harold behind Richard. He's got the Attila Takeda in the off lane. The classic trio that everybody is saying, like, Chiskul, if you don't use this, you're messing up, is the Constantine Joan, the Ethel Flood YSG, and the Guan Alex. Like, everybody's saying that's what you have to have in your Canyon lineup, and everything else, The only the remaining marches are what you can play with. We'll give this a shot and see if it does better. I tried this just before 
I made any changes, and I lost actually just barely. So let's try this out. See, the thing that I wanted to swap here, this is the march I'm currently using, the YSG. And actually, there is one piece of equipment I need to change. We do need to take one more piece of equipment, drop it on to our William, and that is the silent trial. Take that off the YSG, put it onto the William. Okay, there we go. We move that over. And actually, there's one other thing. It's a skill damage pendant, pendant of the eternal night. Yeah, let's get that over here. Boom. 5% extra skill damage. That is looking much better. I know there's better gear that we can do here. This is just a starting point. We're going to battle Sterling, top tier team here, and I am going to remove these commanders. We're going to swap it out. The Methmat is really good. He does area of effect damage, but he's only doing area of effect damage. He doesn't like buff anything or do any extra stuff to help everybody else out, but the William is going to buff everybody, right? The only downside is, man, Mehmed, let me bring more troops. So we'll see how this goes. Mehmed, Esong, all cavalry. This, this is going to be really interesting. This, I, I really don't know what's about to happen. This might feel really terrible. Okay, well, Chiskel, you've got your lineup correct. Let's smash the button and see what happens. Good luck. Now, you may not be used to seeing a Joan of Arc Takeda in the front line, that combination is astonishingly tanky. People underestimate that combination, and it's a huge mistake to do so. It's really very powerful. So let's see how this goes. Theoretically, I should be hitting multiple targets here. You know, is my William even hitting multiple targets? I don't think he is. Nope, maybe he is. I think he did. But my William is getting pretty wrecked back here. Honestly, pretty wrecked. Am I generating enough extra rage for this to be a thing? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think this is working better than what I used before. Well, that's pretty awkward. Air Seos has a killer team. I don't think I could beat this team. He's got a Leonidas, which just straight up means I lose generally. Let's see what we can do here. We do need to keep in mind he's got a Ramses El Cid. It's probably in the off lane. Yeah, it's in the off lane. I wonder how I deal with this. Do I have to try to swarm the Ramses El Cid? I don't know. I don't I really don't want to put my Richard up against that. And you'll you'll see what's gonna happen to my Richard. It's it's not gonna be pretty. It's not gonna be pretty. Let's give this a shot. See how this unfolds. Here we go. You ready? William Esong. This is probably... Doesn't take much to figure out. This is probably not a thing. I could pair him with a Saladin instead, but... I don't know about that. Let's see what happens here. We line this up. Okay. We should see... I think I'm only damaging one target. People told me for sure that I would hit two with the William, but no way. I'm only hitting one. I'm definitely only hitting one target. I wonder if that has to do with the march speed of the units here. But I'm feeling like I would have thought William would be really good in this game mode. I'm thinking he's really bad in this game mode. Oh, God, that's a massive waste of stars. <laughs> Oh, I'm really wasting my stars so you don't have to. God, this is embarrassing. GG, bro. Okay, well, we could try somebody else that we'll definitely lose to. We could try Maximus. I, I, at this point, I'm not even convinced the William hits multiple targets. This, is, this was a terrible idea. This was a terrible idea. The, let this be a lesson. Talk your friends out of this. It's the worst idea I've ever had. Okay. Here we go. Let's try this. I don't know. Can we just even figure out if... We, William, I've seen him hit multiple targets before, but I guess with the march speed I have on him, that wasn't happening. Let's give this a shot and see how it goes. Oh, boy. When am I ever going to use a William primary if not here? I honestly... I don't even know when I would. Okay. How does this go? William swings around. He's supposed to hit multiple targets. Does he? Doesn't look like it. That's really weird. Yeah, 
There's no way he's hitting multiple targets there. So the rage buff isn't even happening, which means the whole premise of this experiment is uh, null and void, which is that it's so difficult to get him to hit multiple targets that uh, this, this doesn't go. Maybe I hit two there. Maybe. Maybe I'm hitting two. Am I now? Now maybe I am. Now I am. At this point, is it too late? Wait, am I going to beat Maximus? There's no way. That's an impossibility. No, I'm not going to beat him. His team, this is, there's no way. It's not happening. These are teams I can't beat anyways. I think that this made really no change to my Canyon team's effectiveness overall. I don't think it belongs here. Now, would I use William as a primary in the field? I just have a hard time imagining I would have so many calves out on the field that I would do that. I really think most people should not do what I just did. Wait, am I going to win? But am I actually going to? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Dude, Max is unbeatable for me. This might actually have worked out. Holy cow. A wait, actually? Did this actually turn out okay? <laughs> what? Oh, we're, are we going to pull through? I don't know. If we lose from this position, that's really awkward. This looks like it's going to run into overtime, though. Like, how long is this fight going to take place for? Okay, we won't. Okay, well, hold the phone. This was not a beatable team for me previously. Just going to throw that out there. My William did start hitting multiple targets toward the end of that. That was really interesting. Okay. Who else Who else do we try to tackle here? Um, I've battled Ifu before. I'm pretty sure that's a team that I beat very consistently with my previous lineup. He's got a great lineup. Uh, but let's see if we swap in the William, if we get the win here, and if we even hit multiple targets. I'm not, I'm not convinced. Okay, here we go. Troops go in. Now, my William should hit a bunch of folks here, right? I think he's actually... Maybe I was looking in the wrong place before. He's hitting the march over here, not the march down here. So I think he's hitting two marches. Now he's not. Is he? How do you see in this mess? Uh, I think he's hitting these two. See that again. We need that in slow motion. Can we get it in slow motion? That might. This might actually be working. Now he's not hitting two targets. Well, actually, now he's going to hit two targets because he's getting surrounded. So now, now we're getting the buff. Okay, we, we need to go back to teams that we couldn't beat and see if we start beating them. Ooh, thank you, Ifu. Ooh, -hoo. okay. Legendary helmet pattern. All right. Here's a team I shouldn't be able to beat. Third team, Krismat. Let's take it for a spin. See what happens here. We got the Leonidas in the top. Bottom lane. Okay. FLYSG's in there. All right, let's see what happens. I don't know. I'm, I feel like a mad scientist. The thing is that I never would have believed that Joan Takeda was this like beast combo, but you see it tanking really well here. Okay, ooh, who am I, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit two marches, right? I'm gonna hit two marches. Yes, that's happening. Uh, these two, these two get hit. Okay, so this is sort of working. It's giving the rage and the defense theoretically to everybody. They are generating. I mean, look how fast the rage bars go up. I mean, it's really. Pretty quick. Seems pretty quick. Krismat's got a team here that I, I should not be able to beat. So I don't I don't think I can win here. Let's see. Can, can we pull this off? Look at that Joan Takeda. Dude, look at that Joan Takeda. Can I... People give me a really hard time about Joan Takeda. Look at that Joan Takeda still alive. She's still alive. Now, I may not win here, but the buffing is super real. Oh my gosh, we're totally going to win this. This is totally going to be a win. Right? How do I lose from this position? Not possible. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I was really concerned before. 
But I think my mad science is totally working out. Dude, I think the mad science is all coming together. I can't beat Chris Mott ever. Like I've never beat him before. Okay, let's hit Abe. I can't beat Abe. Abe's not beatable for me. But uh, today is a day of firsts. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Let's give this a shot. Okay, he's got the Edward Artemisia up top. With the Richard to match it. He's got the healing reduction in the bottom lanes. That's fine for us. Yeah, okay. Oh my god. Is this working? A part of what's happening. See, I thought I was going to hit a different march. But because... Okay, oh man. This is really mad science. Because my William is hitting his Ethelfled E-Song. See, watch this. Watch this. Because my William hits the Ethelfled E-Song, I remove all of their bonus skill damage because of William. Right? So that means... Esong's fourth skill is 100% negated in this configuration, which seems pretty good. That said, oh man, like, I know Abe's got some really good gears. This is, this is going to be pretty tough. Also, he is obliterating me in top lane, which does not bode well. Abe probably has the, the top team in our uh, grouping for Canyon. Like he's, I think he's got probably the number one team here. Oh yeah, we're, I think we're getting rolled here. So it did some interesting stuff, but it's certainly not good enough. Important to call attention to the fact that my Constantine's not expertise, which would really help a lot, but not, it wouldn't help this much. I think against this configuration, I've got to try something very different in order to pull this off. I think I would need to try like maybe swarming his Edward and hope for the best. I don't think that's going to go very well, though. But just to see how that goes, just to see how that goes, let's let's try swarming as Edward and see how insane this is, right? So we put the Richard down here. We're going to swarm down his Edward. And how do I want to line these up? It's kind of an interesting question. I don't really want my Esong taking tons of damage here. I also really don't want my William out front taking tons of damage. There's not a great way for me to line this up, I feel. I guess we'll line it up like this. I could no, I won't I want my Joan down below to tank. Yeah, I think I think I have to do it this way. Let's see how this goes. We may have to mess around with the lineup here and, and see if we can do better. But let's let's see what happens here. Okay, so we're gonna swarm out the top march. He's gonna swarm out my bottom march, and it's gonna get wrecked. And then it's going to be some sort of DPS race. Look at how much damage he did. Dude, look at how much damage he did to my freaking Ethel Flood. Crazy. So now we're swarming him with more marches. But man, he did so much damage to me. Also, that night-to-day transition was kind of wacky. All his marches are nearly full still. And my marches are pretty wrecked. Is my William hitting multiple? I think so. I think it's probably hitting multiple. In this mess, it's just hard to see anything. But I think I am getting multiple targets there. My Joan of Arc's in huge trouble. My William's about to be in huge trouble. That's going to get swarmed down in the blink of an eye. Uh, uh this isn't going to work, is it? No. I've got, yeah, no. Abe's got me again on this one. Could be that a little switch to the arrangement of the marches works. Gosh, I could do more matches and I will do more matches and see what I think. Would I recommend most people take William beyond four stars? No, I don't think there's any need to do that. I don't think there's any need to do that. Keep William four stars, use him as a secondary, take him in the field. That's really cool. I'm going to swap out my defense and we'll see how this performs with the William in play instead. Right, the William with the E song. I'm not sure. We'll let you know exactly kind of what happens here over time. If this is performant or if it's not. We're the guinea pig. Until then, don't copy it. Does William hit multiple targets in Canyon? Yes. Do William's buffs stack with Joan of Arc's buffs? It does seem that they do. However, the main role of William is to be a secondary commander to someone who generates tons of rage, like Saladin or Khan. Use that combination in the field to buff people nearby for huge, huge value. Use them to swarm stuff. I think that's awesome. That's why I've 
picked him up. I'm planning to use him in Ark of Osiris. He seems really great for a brawl in the middle. And if you've got other ideas for things we should test or try out, like, yeah, I could use a con in the back lane or a salad and like there's lots of different things we could try. But let me know down below in the comments what you think we should give a shot. Do me that huge favor if you like the video. Throw a like on the video. It's free to you. Helps out the channel a ton. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. By the time you're seeing this, we might have passed the 100,000 subscriber mark, which is just like mind blowing to me. It's totally insane. I never expected that would happen, but we'll talk more about that in a different video. Until next time, my friends, you have fun smashing the kingdom.